Hello, you are welcome. Here, let's solve this nice algebra equation involving the root. Then, from here, we are given cube root of x to be equals to square root of 2x. Now, let's remove this cube root and take the cube on both sides. Raise both sides to power 3. Then, this power of 3 cancel this cube root. Then we are left with x here, which is equal to square root of 2x, then raised to power 3. Then, in the next step, let's raise both sides to power 2. This side to power 2. Also, we raise this side to power 2. And then, from the law of indices, when we have a to the power of m, then raised to power n, this same thing as a raised to power mn, which we can also write as a raised to power n, then raised to power m. That is, this power can be interchanged. So let's interchange this power. So we have x squared on this side, then which is equal to square root of 2x, then raised to power 2, then raised to power 3 from here. Now, here, this square will cancel this square root, then this will be left as x square equals to 2x to the power of 3 from here. Then this power of 3 will affect 2 and x from the law of indices. That means we have x square here will be equal to 2 raised to power 3 times x raised to power 3. And 2 raised to power 3, that's 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8. We have x squared now equals to 8x cube. Then take x squared to that side. Then we form an equation as 8x cube minus x squared equals to 0. Then we factor x squared. x squared is common. Factor x squared out. We are left with 8x, the minus 1 here, which is equals to 0. Then from here, two cases, x squared equals to 0 or 8x minus 1 equals to 0. From here, x is equals to 0. And here, we can take minus 1 to that side. We have 8x equals to 1. Then, x is now equals to 1 over 8. When we divide both sides by 8. So, we have these two values of x. Now, let's check from the given problem. We have cube root of x is equals to cube root of x is equals to square root of 2x. Now let's confirm for x equals to 0. It's obvious that 0 on this side, still 0 on this side. Now for x equals to 1 over 8 now, when we substitute x equals to 1 over 8, so we have cube root of 1 over 8. You see the same thing as square root of 2 times 1 over 8. Then let's check from here. Then we can write this as cube root of 1 over 2 raised to power 3. Because 1 raised to power 3 is t1. 2 raised to power 3 is 8. So this power, we cancel this power here. This cube root here, we are left with half here. Now, here, on this side, we are left with half. Because here, on this side, we have 2 can go in 8, that's 4. So we have 1 over 4 left here. And also, we can decide to write 1 over 4 as square root of 1 over 2 squared. So, 1 square is t1 and 2 square is 4. So, now, square, we cancel square root as well. Now, we want to confirm now. We can see that this also is left as half. So, we have half on this side, which is equal to half on this side. Therefore, we can say that x equals to 1 over 8 satisfy this given problem. So, x that we are Finding from here, can now be said to be equal to the first, you know, x 
say x1 equals to 0 and from here x2 equals to 1 over a. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos and also turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Put your comments in the comment section and give a thumbs up. See you in the next class and bye for now.